Hello. How are you doing, guys? Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello. Hello teacher. Everything good? Hello. Yeah. Everything. Did you have a beautiful day today? I hope you did. Yeah. Yes. Sort of. We saw, we saw the sun. Oh, yeah, that's inspiring. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, so, is it not raining anymore? I'm not aware. It is not raining over here. It's not raining anymore? Mm. Not right now, no. but during the day, it was raining a little bit. Yeah, but the situation is getting better, I think, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, that's good. Because it, it, it was becoming, it was getting out of hand and it was dangerous, right? So sad. Yeah. A lot of people. Okay, well, let's begin. We're going to start working with the platform. Just let me get everything ready here. One second. Here we are. So, this is where we left off. Let me see. How many people do I have? All right, writing about a best friend. This is basically what we did last night using the adjectives to describe someone and yourself. So, we finished that, right? And now we're going to learn how to talk about likes and dislikes. Hey, can you read the objective, please? Iris. Sorry? Would you read the objective, please? Okay. By the end of, the, of this class, participants will learn how to express likes and dislikes using clauses with it plus adverbial clauses with when. With when? Great. Yes. Okay, pay close attention here. <clears throat> Have your notebooks ready. Right. And write down the structure. That's the most important thing right now. Write down the structure, okay? Hello, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes. And you'll also learn how to express neutral things. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say, for example, you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday. right? So a uh, quick example. I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There, I just express the likes and dislikes, and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So, in order to do that, I'm going to use expressions such as, I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So, let's do the following. First, the first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is some uh, vocabulary, okay? Uh, and so, let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. If you notice, I've highlighted in yellow the positive. So for things that you like, you'll use expressions such as, I like it, I love it. When you're neutral about something, you'll use expressions such as, I don't mind it. And when you want to express things that you don't like, then in that case, you'll use expressions such as, I don't like it, I can't stand it, I hate it. So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it and then we say clauses with when, well really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. 
So as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well, um, in order to formulate this sentence to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like. So I say I like it. And that's my clause with it. And then uh, the next part, it continues with when. This is the situation. Um, when. All right, so let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence is the subject plus the verb and it. I like it. And then the second part of that sentence is when someone gives me a compliment. If we quickly look at our vocabulary here, I could say, this could be, now, the, the idea about this is that this could be something that is true for you. This could be something that is not true for you. So we want to express the things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you might be neutral about. So I could use this vocabulary here. So I could easily say, I like it, such as the example here. I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, or I could say, I love it. So I'll, I could change the verb. I could change something else there. I can say, I love it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, at the same time, I could also be neutral about it. I could say, I don't mind it. All right. Okay. I don't mind it when someone gives me a compliment. Uh, and then again, you might be shy and you probably don't like it, right? So you might uh, have a negative point of view about that situation. And you might say, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it when someone gives me a compliment. And that's how you formulate this kind of uh, sentences. Um, again, you could be neutral about the whole situation. You could, uh, you could um, uh, be positive about it. So you could like it, or you could love it. Um, and um, at the same time, something could make you upset, right? Um, the examples that I gave earlier where I, so let me follow the structure here, right? So I'm gonna say, I like it when friends give me gifts for my birthday. Okay, so this is something that I like. So I like it when friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when friends forget about my birthday. Um, it doesn't bother me when friends arrive late to a party. Now, what I would like for you to do is to think about all the things that you like and all the things that you don't like and all the things that you're neutral about. Alrighty. So, um, would you give me one example? See how this works. First of all, we're going to do three columns, all right? One of them is going to be a positive when you like something. And the other one is going to be neutral in negative, okay? So we have some expressions like, like, dislike, hate, don't mind, can't stand. So which expressions can we put under the positive column? What expressions, guys? I, uh, sure, yeah. example, uh, well, well, I like it when someone invites me to eat. Okay, so like, those expressions, like. guys, like, dislike, hate, don't mind, can't stand the ah. ones we've heard, ah. love, 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 love. Ah. Okay. which one is neutral? Don't mind, don't, don't mind. mind, don't mind it. Awesome. Yes, let's say it. Because in Spanish we say, I like when, right? But don't say that. I like it when. I love it when. So don't forget about this because we don't use it in Spanish, but you need it in love English, it. right? So this is super important. I'm going to put it in red. Okay. So I don't mind it. Love it. Negative? I don't like Don't it. like it. And can't I like stand it. it. I don't like it. Can't it's stand it. it. Too big. Hold on. Okay. Can this would be K 
can't stand it. Connect all those S's, please. So you say, can't stand it. Also, teacher, uh, I, I hate, hate it. it. I hate it. Can't stand it. Let me see, uh, Inmar, how do you pronounce this? I don't hear you. Inmar, you're muted. <laughs> All right, Jose Cornejo, how do you pronounce this? Can you stand it? Can't stand it. Hello? Can you stand it? Uh -huh. No, guys, the thing is that um, you're putting, we're gonna work on that, all right? But if there is a sound that you're pronouncing here, which is not really there, you're saying can't stand, right? No, it's can't, 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 can't stand it. Stand it. And this is a sound, which is a combination. I can't of stand it. Right. I can't. I can't stand it, all right? I can't stand it. Can't stand it. Uh -huh. I can Sorry, stand it. Sorry, I had a problem with the microphone. No, you were on mute. That's why. <laughs> and I was telling you. It's all right. That happens. Okay, everyone mute the microphone unless you want to help me with this. So they can stand it. Hate it, right? Hate it. What else? I dislike. I dislike it. Dislike it. Uh, Mm -hmm. What else? Hate it. There's nothing else, right? Hey, dislike, don't mind. That's it. Okay, so don't forget about uh, it and then when. That is how you're going to form them. I want to send you an image. Uh, quick. Teacher, a question, please. Go ahead. Uh, in, in the negative form, uh, it is possible to say, I can't bear it? Yes, you can say that. I like it actually. I can't Thanks. bear it. No lo oso. No, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> what does it mean? Bear, uh, it's similar to I can't stand it. No lo tolero. Probably it's like tolerate. I can't stand it. They're similar. Yeah, you can say that. Great. Very good. Now let's make some examples before we practice in small groups. All right, and for example, we're gonna say people cut in line. So imagine you're making a long line to enter the supermarket these days, right? And somebody is like, hey, hi, how are you? And they try to cut in line. You know that, right? <laughs> so they, have, they skip all that line, they cut in the line. How do you react to that? You love it? You, you don't like it? Can't stand it. Hate it. Hate it? Up. Hate it, actually. Like it. Like I it. hate it. So, that is sad and right? Thing. You're saying you hate it? Yes. So, guys, just FYI, I don't see all of your faces. I only see four faces at the same time. So, hey, that's cool. Somebody just got coffee. Yeah, guys, you can have coffee with me. I'm gonna have some tea, some mate cocido right now. You can have coffee in class, it's okay. But yeah, I don't see everyone at the same time. Okay, so can I hate it. Sorry? I hate it when. Can you also say embarrassment when people stop in line? I don't understand, Roberto, sorry. Can you also say it bothers me? It bothers me. Yes, the thing is that we're trying to use it. It is acceptable, but we're trying to learn this structure right now. It plus when. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But it is right. Okay, let's see another situation. People um, smoking near you. How do you feel about that? Okay, I love when people smoking near me. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Somebody I don't love mind. it. I don't <laughs> mind it. Okay, that. Okay, we're gonna say I don't mind it. Who said I don't mind it? Because I, I also smoke. I don't mind it. Aha, uh -huh, so I don't mind it when people. Of course, I also smoke, so I don't mind it when people smoke near me. 
near me. Right. <laughs> no, <laughs> it doesn't. Smoke here. <laughs> okay, guys. So I would like you to take a screenshot of this. All right, because we're gonna use this structure. I'm going to send you, we're gonna start with some things here. And then I will send you a picture, so check what's up later. So I'm gonna send you some scenarios and tell your classmate how you feel about it using these structures, all right? But we're gonna begin with, if people ask me for money, when beggars, we're gonna say beggars actually. Let me see. Do you know the meaning of this? Um, no. Beggars. No. Beggars. Beggars. No, it's actually beggar. Beggars. Beggars. What is beggars? People who are, can you see me, all of you? Yeah? Yes. So it's when people are. Cuando un mendigo le pide dinero. I was not going to translate it. The people that, that live. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not translate it. The people translate. who live. Um, Less harm, uh, um, the homeless. The, the people who live homeless. <laughs> homeless people. So it's like Could people be, saying, no? Do you yeah. have a quarter? Could I have one dollar? So those are beggars. When beggars ask you for money, like a little bit annoying person just asking for money. Annoying. All right, you're going to share how you feel later. All right, in the small group, I'm going to give you some ideas and I will send you more ideas as you progress. So give me one second. And another situation is, oh my God, I loved it. <laughs> Hold on, you want, oh, I know, I know. When there is an electricity outbreak. Out, I forgot the word. Okay, when, when there's a blackout, we're gonna say, cause I can't, remember the word when there's a blackout it means that your whole neighborhood or your street doesn't have electricity okay and when people call me when i hate this when i'm sleeping okay discuss these three scenarios in a small group and i will send you more ideas through whatsapp ready okay questions great oh Nope, let's do it. Let's practice. Here we go. Okay. okay. All righty.
I am afraid to to. Yeah, Internet, because there there is no TV. There is nothing. There is nothing to do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it will be a little bit boring during the day. It's very and boring. It will be a little bit annoying now that I'm doing home office. Yes, the blackout, the blackout. can affect uh, many we things. We have to have Thank dinner. Let me just for. Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Really, if when someone, uh, I mean, I don't mind it when someone call me. I mean, when I am sleeping, because I don't, ha I don't have enough time to sleep, so maybe I don't sleep until night. So during the day, maybe there is not a problem. <laughs> okay, I I think that well, really slow. <laughs> they don't. Know. They don't want to. Return to work, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and what and are you now? Feel? Training, <laughs> walk slow. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> or maybe when you are at the city on the rain at night. No. Yes. I, 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 I love people who walk really. I, I don't, I don't like. Because uh, I like walk uh, fast. Okay. Mm. And you? Uh, I I like I like people who walk. Maybe not really slow, but slow. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, slowly. Uh, slowly, yeah. Ah. But it depends. I'll say Katya, because it's, it's different when you are at night uh, walking in the city, maybe it could be dangerous. Yeah. Karina, right? Yes. Okay, say, uh, you like it when people drive slowly? Yeah, right? that's not like true. Right. Uh, instead of saying, I like people who say, I like it when, or I don't like it when, or I hate it when. Try to use that structure, all right, just to practice. Okay, I like it when people walk really slow, really slow. Uh, really slowly, because you're describing it's slowly. the action. Yeah, you're describing the action. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I dislike. I dislike it. I dislike it. When? When I, when I, Call me. When people when call sleeping. me. People call me. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sleeping. Okay. Um, in my case, um, because of my job, I have different contact. And I, 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 that's why I said that I can stand uh, when someone call me because imagine at night. All the problem. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You could you could give him some advices, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay, I sent another list here. Did you get the last one? When people eat with their mouths open. Okay, I can't <laughs> I hate I can't it. Stand I, hate it. I can't stand that when people oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Uh, it's so disgusting too. Yeah. I hate it, teacher. I hate it too, teacher. <laughs> I hate it when people eat with their mouth open. I don't like it when someone eat with their mouth it's open. When someone eats, it's it's it. it's, it's third with person. their mouth open. And when and when some sounds more, <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it worse. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And next is. I know. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jose Cornejo? Um, I I dislike it um, because we um, we we use all oh, right. I I use press for uh, for for my device, and sometimes I I watch in TV. And after the block hour, I can 
I can watch. So I dislike it. I dislike mm -hmm. it when, try to use that, that structure, right? I dislike it when there's an owl, there's a blackout. Blackout. Wilbur, is this your first class? Yes, I, uh, I was about to tell you that this is my first class here. Do you have questions? Um, just at the beginning, I told Noé and Jose that um, about this small group, mm -hmm. yeah, but we, this is just by, to discuss about what you were saying. And, but it's okay, I don't have any doubt. And are you on the WhatsApp group? Uh, do you have a WhatsApp group? Uh, no, I don't. I, I'm not in that group. Yeah, because the questions you're discussing, uh, I sent them to WhatsApp. So all the can ideas, you add me? I cannot add you because <laughs> I'm not an administrator, to be honest. Um, um, okay, I, I don't know what to do. I'm going to send the link here and I'm going to chat. I'm going to send it through the chat here so you can click on it. But if you can, try to look for the email where you have all the information about the course and click on the WhatsApp link. All right, let's try those two things. But yeah, you should be there because all the information is being sent there. Yeah, I want to be in the group. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll see what I can do. So you guys can go on. Are you almost done? Uh, we're going to the third one. All right, awesome. We must, we must be respectful. Yes, I, I don't Sorry. like it neither. That I sometimes I do it, uh, so I I feel guilty with my my daughter because I'm she is talking to me, but I have to look at the phone because I have message from my boss or something of the work, but I don't like it too. Oh, yeah. People, you are talking with with someone, and that someone are looking the phone. I don't like. It. Yeah, you feel like if you are not there, or if you are not important. Oh, no, no, no! I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't stand it. I can't stand yeah, it. Either. I can't stand it. <laughs> I can't, yeah, in my case, can't stand it. I can't stand it. <laughs> can't stand it. Yeah, guys, did you receive the other ideas I sent you? Yes. Yeah. Like people eat with their mouth open. <laughs> Drive slowly. Uh huh. Okay. Did you almost finish? Almost, yes. All right. I, uh, yeah. This is my turn. Um, I I I can't stand it. I hear the people who play <laughs> obnoxiously <laughs> loud music in the. Don't hate the people, cat. Miguel. <laughs> I hate the people. They'll say I hate it. It is a situation, it. all right. I hate it when hate it. people. Uh, when people, okay. I hate it when people mm -hmm. who play a uh, no play. play of no series low music in the car. When Can you s of no lease. Is the word. How is it pronounced? What's the pronunciation Justly. of what? The pronunciation of 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 nociously of <laughs> of nociously of nociously of nociously yes where is it's in the image of nociously is like super loud of nociously super loud music that's what it means. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand. Okay. Okay. And the other one. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it when people don't wash their hands after using the bathroom. <laughs> so nasty. Yes, I, uh,
I'm so lucky. Here we are. Are you done complaining? <laughs> you finished complaining about life? No. Yes. Not, Not yet. <laughs> Some more. Priority. All right. Awesome. Not at all. So, uh, is the topic clear? Yes. Right, yeah. By the way, I finally came up with uh, the word. It's power outage. All right. When so la luz, all right. When there's no electricity, you say there is an uh, there was a power outage. I was trying to think. A blackout is more like a blackout is more like in a and big no place. Light. Uh huh. There's no electricity. Yep. So is this topic clear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy, right? Easy. Next topic. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> In that next topic, please bring it on. Um, Wilbur, I sent the chat here. I sent um, yeah, the group the, the group chat, the link. So click on it, all right, from your phone or from the laptop. We have a new student joining us today. Let's move on. All right, so. Write your own responses, yes. Uh, this is Wilbur. I'm sorry, but I was to take. I was going to take it a picture to the link because I click it and it didn't. Anything happened? So, oh, because you have to be logged in on WhatsApp, WhatsApp web. Yeah, I took a picture already. Thank you. All right. Awesome. So, uh, how do you feel about these situations? Let's see. Let's. Fill it up together. Number one, Cindy. Um, is um, when someone gives me a compliment of my clothes. Mm, I feel. Mm -hmm. We're I use this vocabulary this time. I can't. I like it. Makes me happy. I like it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. Let's try with I like it. I like it. When someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. Okay. Has anybody done this exercise? Or not yet? No, not yet. No, no, no. Yet. Not yet. No, yet. Probably confusing. And did you yes, write this? Yes, I did. Uh, what expressions are you using? These? Yeah, that one. Yeah, right. I you only it. have these options, guys. I love it. I can feel yeah. it. It makes me happy. And I but you need to write it in complete sentences. Yeah, let me. Then I love it. Part. You said I don't mind. I don't mind it when someone gives me a compliment of my coat. Yeah, no, the thing is I'm trying to I'm trying to test other options mm -hmm. and see if it accepts it or if it's just the one answer that you can type. So I wanna or see. maybe it makes me happy. And how many questions are there? Yes. Yeah. We have the same number of answers. No, I have the answers guys. I'm just trying to see if if we can do this together. Hold on. That's what you sent in the WhatsApp group, teacher? Nope. Okay. Yeah, so you can use. We have to put the whole sentence. The whole sentence, and I think that you can write any of these expressions, the ones here. <laughs> so I love it, depending on how you feel. So let's try any random one. Uh, number two, mm -hmm. and people are direct and say what's on their mind. How do you feel about that? Does it bother me? It I, I don't mind it. Doesn't bother. Where is it? Doesn't bother me, Roberto. 
I wrote that oh, and I got it right. right. Here, look, it's right here. I hadn't seen that. So you have a lot of expressions, but they're mixed up. So it doesn't bother me. Somebody said, I don't mind it, right? Yeah, the thing is it's just use there. the structure. Yeah, no, that's what I'm trying to figure out. If you can say what you really feel yeah. and still get the correct answer. According to the instruction, it says, yes, make sure, wait. The instruction said, write your own responses based on the book you're giving. Yep. It is right. So, guys, look, yep. the answer is not always the same, okay? As long as you use one of these, depending on how you feel about it, you can say, it really upsets me, I don't mind it, it makes me happy. As long as you use one of these and the complement, you're good, okay? Okay. So this you can do individually with different answers, but let's do it together. So um, try this one. Let's see, Gabriel Granados. Mm, it depends if it's an emergency when people call me late at night. I don't mind it. You don't mind it. Yes. So where is it? I don't mind it. It should work. I don't mind it when people call me. And finally, Leila. It Layla. bothers me. Mm -hmm. Hi. It bothers me when people call me late at night say it bothers me no it's when a friend treats me to dinner i'm ah, sorry it makes me happy say it makes me happy it makes me happy when a friend treats me to dinner yeah guys notice it's not invites me to dinner because if I invite you, I'm just saying, hey, let's go. But it doesn't mean I'm going to pay for you. So treat is the right verb. That means the person is going to pay for you. Okay. It's not invite. Very good. Good job. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the word you're supposed to use. All right. Well done. So I think that's clear. Uh, you just have more expressions there, right? Let's watch this. Reading the amazing world. Okay, what I would like you to do with this reading is have your notebooks ready and write down pronunciation things that are confusing or new for you. All right, so pay close attention to the pronunciation and write it down. Ready? Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll improve your reading skills by developing skills and identifying main ideas and understanding meaning from context. In this class, we'll read an article about the amazing world of apps, short for applications. You'll take notes of new words and pronunciation of difficult words. I'll read the article for you, but the goal is that you'll also read it, making sure you're pronouncing the words correctly. After reading the article, your task is to complete the short quiz related to the article. So let's get started. I'll start by reading the article. In 2010, the American Dialect Society chose app as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 425,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Communicating on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall. And all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have to set up your video game console. You don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. Most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps and you can use more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and a weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the same time. 
One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played 200 million minutes daily by app users, or 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of $2.13. Not only are apps popular, they're also profitable. All right, so here's what you're going to do. Let me see. Some of you already know what we do with readings, so um, take take this reading. In dialect society. Okay, and you're going to read this in pairs. Take turns. One person is going to read one paragraph, and the your classmate will read the second one, and so on. All right, one paragraph per person. First, read it. Try to use your best pronunciation at it, and then you'll answer the questions together after you have finished reading the article. Is that clear? Yes. Clear. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yep. Let's, uh, let's work in pairs. Let me make the, the groups. There it is. Accept the invitation, please, and let's practice. Jose Cornejo, are you there? Okay. The first paragraph, you read it, then you follow. Okay. I have here my <laughs> bon appetit. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, let me know when you're ready. 25,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you may be interested in. Okay, hey, I continue. Okay. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Yes. Uh, yeah. But Is we the read it one one paragraph each, and then do the exercise. Okay. I, I think okay. that's thank you. Okay. Of app, and you can use more than one app at the time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu and the weather first cut up to decide what to wear to the restaurant all at the same time. To decide mm -hmm. what to wear. 
<laughs> decide what to wear. Uh, decide, ah, okay. Decide what to wear. To wear. 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 Ah, okay. Yeah. Thanks. To One of the rest. Go. One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played 200 million minutes daily by app users, or 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly, nearly or nearly? Nearly. Nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of 2.13 cents. Not only are apps popular, they are, they are also pro, profi, profitable. Profitable. I, I don't like profitable. that. Of course. <laughs> what? Profitable. Profitable. Prof <laughs> They are profitable. Profitable. They are pro they're also profitable. Right. Profitable. Profitable. Okay. Some common use of apps. In the end, the, the options are find a new restaurant, wait yourself, wait yourself, look at the restaurant menu. Uh, check the weather. Okay. Uh, apps are so popul popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Coming, commuting on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall. And all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going. Okay. okay. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Community on a bus. At the time okay. which the article was written, that was true about the app Angry Birds. Um, I think number I think one. Thanks. I can see you. Oh my god. Let me see. <laughs> but no problem. In the, it's turned off. Yes, I can hear you. And my camera is turning it off. Oh. Not turn I'm going on. to continue reading. Oh. Um maybe we are you are You read the last uh, the last part of our paragraph. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. In two thousand. You see, we we finish the questions. We have to find a new vocabulary. No, no, we're gonna go oh, back wow. now. Ah, okay. Yeah, we're okay. Good. Okay. Alrighty, uh, some of you finished reading and also doing the exercise. Some of you didn't finish the exercise, the answer is related to it. So after yeah. that, yes, teacher. Yeah, we finished. The majority I think finished, but if you haven't, yeah. then make it sure you do it right after class, okay? And I want to give you some feedback on pronunciation I heard. That will be okay, for example. Um, how do you pronounce this? Menu. It's actually menu. 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 Yes. menu. What about this? Profitable. 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 Listen. Profitable. 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 Wait. Okay. Profitable. 
profitable. Yeah, profitable. Profitable. All right, what about commuting? Commuting. 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 You know the commuting. meaning? Commuting. Commute. commute. You don't say I travel to work because you don't travel. You commute to work and you commute to your house, right? So you commute. You can do it by um, public transportation, your own personal one, and so on. And what about this? Yeah, the smart smart smartphone. You guys are putting letter A here. Letter E. Nope, 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 nope. It's not there. Smartphone. Smartphone. Your 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 smartphone. You are going to question. hear. All together. Yes. Go ahead, Clint. Uh, just uh, what it your means smartphone. for instance. For instance, is similar to for example. For oh, okay, <laughs> thank for you. Instance. You're welcome. So guys, yeah, you will hear a lot of Spanish speakers, not as Spanish as speakers, all right? No, a lot of Spanish speakers, okay? Same as speed as smartphone, but it's not correct, okay? So just know it's not correct. Even if somebody else is saying it, don't listen to that. All right, so you say- It's like to say Spanish. Aha, uh -huh, that's what I'm saying, Spanish speakers. So you connect everything here, Spanish speakers, right? Yep, pay attention mm -hmm. to that so that the accent doesn't sound so strong, all right? I have to go, guys. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, and I really hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye